this happened, I was across the street in my apartment and I got the text that there's a lockdown. My best friend Amanda texted me and said, could she come over? She was in the building a minute before it happened. Just knowing that there was a gun on campus I just, I don't feel safe anywhere anymore. I got anxious walking across campus and usually I, I feel like I'm in a safe bubble. I was in one of uh, Paul's classes, the victim of the shooting, and um, I just felt that I needed to kind of come and say my prayers and, and just kind of uh, have a moment of silence. Just like, where is the line between self-defense and, and, you know, something that can encourage more gun violence? Text messages started flying around, making sure that people were okay, because at first no one quite knew what was going on, and then word started coming that it was, there was a shooter. Because after a shooting, there's, there's a lot of fear, there's a lot of confusion, a lot of doubt, and instead of sitting and isolating away from each other, the first thing we did was come together and seek God's face and seek him as a community, which I think is really powerful.